Hi, I'm Toby McGrath. I'm a scientist at the Woods Hole Research Center. My work, I work primarily in Amazonian Brazil. My focus is on community-based management of natural resources, fisheries, and also forest resources. Climate change is often associated with more higher frequency of extreme events, extreme floods, extreme droughts, extreme low water, reflecting drought elsewhere in the basin, and also changes in the timing and amount of rainfall that people have. These interaction between these changes can mean the difference between losing a crop to drought or losing a crop to flood, sometimes two crops, one to flood and one to drought, in the same year. The picture you see is of a house in the town of Igarapé do Costa, one of the lowest sighted communities in the lower Amazon. That is to say, it gets flooded first and it's the last to be essentially exposed after floodwaters reside. So it's highly vulnerable to extreme floods and extreme droughts. In the 2009 flood, which is one of the highest on record, the community suffered great damage. It's located in the middle of an island surrounded by three huge lakes, and many of the houses of the community are completely vulnerable to the lakes because there isn't anything between the house and the wider lake behind it. In response to the, the flood, many community residents began to recognize that these floating mats of, of grasses that grow over the, over the lakes during the high water season, plus trees and the forest, were in very important protection against the, the impacts of waves and, and the floodwaters in general. And many people in the community, and the community itself then, began an effort that we have helped um, advise, provided technical assistance and organizational capacity building uh, assistance to do a large project to plant buffers of floating grasses behind the community on both sides um, that would then protect the, the houses from the flood. The success of this venture, planting these buffers and re recovering forests, has a lot to do with their ability to control cattle grazing, control shifting cultivation, and more sustainably manage their forests. What they're doing is showing that local communities can organize to address the environmental threats that they are facing. And despite the fact that they live in a habitat which is vulnerable to environmental changes occurring over 40% of the South American continent, they are showing that through their local actions they can make a big difference in the impacts of these environmental changes on their livelihoods.